Hello and welcome to this tutorial on how to create a self-signed SSL certificate. In this video, we'll be covering everything you need to know to create a self-signed SSL certificate for your website. SSL certificates are a crucial component in securing your website and protecting your users' sensitive information. While purchasing an SSL certificate from a reputable certificate authority, CA, is the recommended way to obtain an SSL certificate, you can also create a self-signed SSL certificate for testing or development purposes. In this tutorial, we'll be using OpenSSL, a widely used open source software toolkit for SSL slash TLS encryption. We'll go through the steps of generating a private key, creating a certificate signing request, and finally, using the private key and CSR to generate a self-signed SSL certificate. Before we dive into the steps, make sure you have OpenSSL installed on your computer. OpenSSL is available for Windows, Mac OS, and Linux operating systems. For this tutorial, we are going to use Git Bash. So let's get started. Open Git Bash and navigate to the directory where you want to store the SSL certificate. You can use the command CD to change directory. We can generate a private key using command open SSL genesis output server key 2048. This will create a new private key file named server key with a key length of 2048 bits. Use this private key to generate a certificate signing request for that we are going to use command. Open SSL request new key server dot key output server dot CSR. This command will ask you some input that is required to create CSR request. Country name, state, city or locality, organization name, organizational unit, common name, etc. Organization name is the legal name of the organization that the certificate will be issued to. It must match the legal name of the organization as registered with the relevant government authority. But if we are using it for personal or internal organization use, then we can use any name we like. Organizational unit is the name of the division or department within the organization that the certificate will be issued to and this field is optional so we can skip it. Common name is the fully qualified domain name, FQDN, that the certificate will be issued to. For example, if you want to secure the website www.webmatrix.com, the common name would be webmatrix.com. Email address is the email address of the person responsible for the certificate and this field is also optional. A challenge password and optional company name is optional. We can leave this fields empty. After that, it will create a new CSR file named server.csr. Now, we can generate a self-signed SSL certificate using the private key and CSR using the command. Open SSL x509 hyphen req hyphen days 365 hyphen in server.csr hyphen sign key server.key hyphen out server.crt. This will create a new self-signed SSL certificate file named server.crt that is valid for 365 days. To verify the contents of the SSL certificate, we can use the command open SSL x509 hyphen text hyphen out hyphen in server dot CRT. This will display the details of the SSL certificate, including the subject, issuer, validity period, and public key. That's it. You have successfully created a self-signed SSL certificate using OpenSSL and Git Bash. You can now use this SSL certificate in your web server or any other application that requires SSL encryption. And we can see the all details which we have entered in the created certificate. Now this certificate is ready to use. Thank you so much for watching our video. We hope you enjoyed it and found it informative. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing to our channel to stay updated on our latest videos. By subscribing, you'll be the first to know when we upload new content, and you'll also be supporting our channel's growth. We appreciate your support, and we look forward to bringing you more great videos in the future. Thanks again for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.